Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review for Ahi Ren Sun episode 5. Um, which I, I, I kind of skipped on Friday though because I had to do something so I couldn't. So, that's why I had to do the other two episodes before this, so. I mean, yeah, before before this, so. But, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm doing it anyway, so. But episode 5 of Ahi Ren Sun, um, who said that was a pretty, another pretty funny episode, um, overall. Because, because once again, these two just like once again they just like just sync very well, especially with, with especially with Ahiren and. But then, of course, of course, a funny moment, of course, a funny moment I'll get to with uh, Rydow though. But, but anyway, just um, uh, I over there with I uh, Ahiren and uh, Rydow, you know, you know, lunch as usual on the rooftop ride, and uh, like Ahiren's just like just you know like once again I'm, I'm on her personal space and all that stuff, right? How she's doing this with her phone, and she's like, also just like poking Rido in the face, bing, bang, bang, <laughs> um, because she's playing this game. It's kind of like a, um, kind of like Pokemon game in a way, kinda. So they get, they get, they both like play on their, they're playing on their phones, but it look like they get, we get like a simulation, like they're both out in the field, really battling with their creatures, right? Kind of like it's kind of like a Pokemon, Pokemon type of way though. Like, Rido has this big, like, Godzilla-like creature. Kind of like Godzilla with this, with this fluffy hair, yellow hair do. It looks kind of like a, kind of like a necktie, almost in a way. And while Ahiren has, like, this, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like this, it's, it's, it's that, in the first episode when we did the crane game, it's like those little, pl it's, a, it's a plushie of this creature that she won all those. It's that same plushie figure that she, uh, she, that uh, she's playing with right now. So... Um, so she's playing with that character, and Rydell's thinking, like, that small creature can't beat this giant creature, right? But it turns out it does, because it has, this, like, these special abilities, and it, what, that he can do, and he's able to beat the big Godzilla creature. So, <laughs> that, so it was, that was, that was a fun, it was a fun simul, it was a fun, uh, simulated sequence of, like, because they're, they're playing on their phones, though, but we get, like, an actual battle Pokemon battle, right? So, it's yeah. That that, that was that was the, that was a fu that was a kind of a fun sequence. I keep saying kind of, which I know it's a fun sequence. It is a fun sequence, not kind of. It's a fun sequence. And then afterwards, after school, when um, whether well, they're gonna like ride out, says he has to use the bathroom, right? So they go. So you go use the bathroom. It's in that that arcade place where the the crane game is, right? So and then the once and we see that little girl. From like the two episodes back, when um when those other boys were like calling um, which you see them in a in a cameo in this episode though, but those three boys, especially that one boy has like the bandage on his nose, calling Ahiren Ki Ahiren, Ki Ah Ki Ah, what the the what the one girl that was like kind of also be like mean, you know right? But she so she she's in this. She wants to play the crane game right, because um she wants to win one of those Godzilla type uh plushies. For that boy, uh, was it Aku Akun. He he wants to, she wants to win a plushie for him. The boy with the band, the little boy with the bandage. Is like, if I if I win this, I'll win his heart. So, and she and she does she does exactly the same thing like what Rido did in the first episode. You know, she spends all of her money, not getting a damn toy, just like Rido did. And when and when and just like the same thing when and Iron does it. Putting a 500 yen coin in there, she wins all of those, just like the first episode. Oh, this time, like, oh, this time, the girl, I don't know what her name is though, but um, it's like, oh wait, she get, she put she's putting a 500 yen a coin in there. She can't win. This game is rigged, right? You know, it's just, it's a scam, so she can't win this. And lo and behold, like the first episode, she won all the plush, all those plushies. Much so it's like, what? She didn't say. She didn't say that though. But it's like her. It's kind of like her reaction. It's her reaction face. Like it's like what? <laughs> she won all those. <laughs> so yeah, that 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 was pretty. That was it was. Even though it's like it's the same thing like how it was the first episode. But things we're getting a different person's. We're getting a different person's response though. Like first was Ryan House response. Now it's this girl's response, right? So now the girl, the little girl, um, with her last one hundred yen coin. Um, she sees one that's perfect 
because one, one of the one plushie is like right on the right on the dropping point, right on top of the dropping port, you know, where you pick it up and then it drops it right to that spot there. But this one is literally hanging right there. So she thinks that oh, that I rain is so good though that she must have missed that spot. She must have missed that spot, right? Where she could easily easily won that one. So she puts her last coin in, and it just drops right in, and she. One is like, look, I did, I won one. <laughs> and then Iron is going, it's basically giving her like the golf clap, right? Like a golf clap type of way. And it's like, why are you doing that for? He's <laughs> like, you don't see me as a threat. <laughs> so, and then, um, and then before, oh, before that, after when, uh, after when, um, forgot when Iron, uh, got all, got her, all of her plushies, right? She dropped this, uh, a ticket, which is like a free crane game, right? And the girl thing is, oh, is the, she, 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 she left that for me? No, no, no. I'm giving it back to you. That's yours. I don't accept your charity. <laughs> and so after the after when the little girl leaves, she's thinking that, um, wait, did she did she leave that one right there on purpose for me? Don't expect her to for me to thank her. <laughs> and so, and then and then and then she and then Ahi Rain gives all those plushies like the last time. All those to ride. I was like, oh no! I had even though I had a ton before, she still gave it to him anyway. Now his bed, where he where his head lay is laying, all of them are like all around him now, with, including with the other ones that she gave him. <laughs> and then like the next day, like Rydell comes in with like all of a sudden all fat, right? He just like gained weight within like a day, right? And then like Iron's kind of like surprised. Well, she doesn't show it though, but. Is like she's like in her mind. It's like what happened to him, and then she tries to say, say something to uh, to Ryder. It's like, did you put on some weight? And of course, since since she's so soft spoken, he can barely hear her. It's like what? It's like oh, never mind. And so later, that she she's reading this book about dieting, but of course, the misunderstanding as usual. Ryder gets makes the assumption that's for her though, because he's thinking, oh, why does she need to diet? She's like slim the way she is, right? So she goes does all the stuff to for her all this stuff for her not knowing that he him he's losing the weight himself he does not know that he thinks there's he still looks the same and he's not even noticing his own weight gain right so he does all this stuff like push-ups jogging even riding a bowl a mechanical bowl right like how does that make you lose weight and the next day he's back to his own self and and of course he she closes the misunderstanding he's like oh that was not for me though it wasn't and then next though, and then she the, they start when they start uh, wanting to clean the classroom, right? Like he starts wiping windows, and like then Ahi Rain also she starts gearing up, you know, to clean to put on the one of those cleaning people like those janitor outfits. And then of course once again that uh, she says she's good, at, she's she says she's good at cleaning, but Rida once again misunderstanding again, thinking oh she's cleaner, I meaning she's a, she's a hitman. You know, like Leon the professional, like you know, Leon the professional saying, "Oh, um, uh, Jean Reno say, oh, he, he didn't say he's a hitman, but um, he's like, I'm a cleaner, I clean." And when Natalie Portman says, "Oh, you so you're a hitman," cool. But though they, she gets, so he gets the wrong, uh, the wrong uh, misunderstanding again. Um, but basically, she's just uh, just good at cleaning. And then when when she comes when she um, tries to move a bookshelf by her uh, a bookshelf by herself, she slips and get that little bit almost like shock like shock expression on her face, you know almost a different expression as usual. And it's gonna fall on top of her, but then right out speeds in in and just saves her from it. Um. And then after they're gonna they want to uh, he he needs um some help studying right. So he's gonna like help have Igrens help uh, study for, uh, study with them, and like they try going all these places to study, but nothing works. Like they try to do it in the library, but since you know you know it's being hush hush in a library, you can't really talk much, right? So like, they keep writing on pieces of paper to communicate, but they're writing like like so big words on two big pages. He he they both run out of notes on notebook paper. <sighs> This is, this is always funny how the way they try to communicate how they try to communicate with each other. It's always it always supposed to be funny. Like they try then they try to do it. Um, what else? They try to do it in the park. 
That's when they get those three boys, the one with the bandage on his nose, and calling him, calling um, Iron King. And then the girl comes back. That little girl comes back from before, says, oh, Iron, I challenge you to math. So they try out a different place, and then it just, they just end up back in the classroom again, because it's a much more quieter place to them, I guess. So it's like, okay. And Ryan are thanking her for helping her study, and then and then Iron also just comes in and just legitimately, legitimately, uh, legitimately hugs him, saying, yeah, "You're welcome, you know, I, I'm, ha I was happy that I was able to help you for once," <laughs> which was always a nice moment too, you know. It was a nice moment, like she like, like legitimately like, gives him a, gives him a legit hugs and thanking him, saying that I was able to help you for once. <laughs> And then when it comes to after when it comes after the credits, she's just like squeezing him so hard. It's like hey, tell she uh, he's telling her, hey, you can let go now. So sorry about that cut there. I had to, I had to sneeze, so that's why I had to cut there because no one wants to see me sneeze again. So that's why I had to cut that part there. God damn, Ugh, it kills me every time. But anyway, um, episode five, which I forgot that the name of the episode though was, but it'll be put in the description though. Sorry, I was just bugging me now. But it was another fun episode. Like I said, it was nice with seeing that when, um, she, I ran to love playing the crane game again, winning all those at once. But this time was from, from the, from the girl, not for Rideout. Doing the same thing. <laughs> um, it was like more funny misunderstandings, like again, like how, wait, when Mrs. Rideout thought it was, it was, she was dieting, but it was not, it was for, for him. And, uh, like him with misunderstanding for her, for him, because she's, you know, in term for cleaner, right? You got the nice moment where she really, uh, really hugs him and thinking of that I was able to help. She was able to help him for once, because she's always because he's always helping her. So nice to, to uh, her to do that for once. But um, and then when that and that girl that the I heard was saying, you know, that I was talking to, from the crane game. You know, I like that character. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought, I thought she was another another sweet character as well. So like she was like the whole time she was trying to win in one of those Godzilla plushies for that boy with the bandage. Because he, because he, because she likes him, so you know, oh, if I win one of these, I'll win his heart. <laughs> what was the kid's the kid's name was Akun, the boy with the bandage. She was she was referring to. <laughs> so yeah, it was another fun another fun episode. It was. So episode five, I Heron's son, fun another fun episode. So I had to I had to do this one last because I had something to do on on that Friday. So that's why I had to I had some else and things to do, so I couldn't time time to do it. So that's why this had to come last now, after the, the other two episodes. <laughs> But anyway, fun episode still. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you all later.